Okay, we've just got all of our control rods put in, so our four control rods in. Our servos are just sitting in at the moment, they're not actually glued in, same as the control um, arms of the servos. We need to put a little screw in there as well, so we're not ready to go out flying yet, but we've just powered it up with a battery, and I'm just holding it there, everything's just sitting on for the time being, just to test that our ailerons are going the right way, and all of our control servos are set up right, so we can start to glue and fix them in. So I've just turned the controller on, and if I go to uh, move the aileron stick to the right, we've got the right aileron going up, so the plane's going to um, roll down like this. And if I went to the left, the plane would roll to the side like that. And same thing, elevator, that's elevator back, so the plane's going to start uh, pitching up and down, start pitching down like so, and the rudder at the back, we've got uh, right, so it would sort of um, yaw to the right, and left, it would yaw to the, the left there as well. So all of our control surfaces are, are nicely set up. They're moving um, well, so I can control them quite slowly, all the way up and down. And you'll notice that you've also got high and low rates on your controller, and that just looks like this. So this is full rates, and if I go to low, it only goes about 70% of the motion. So if I flick between them there, that's high and low. And that's just a handy that when you're um, taking off or a beginner's flying, and if they don't want to do any sort of 3D aero aerobatics type stuff, you can put it down to low rates so the, the plane's a little bit more stable. So now, now that we've checked that out, we'll go straight down back to this block that I've got it sitting in. Just take the battery out so it doesn't decide to take off on us. And I've got a hot glue gun here. And basically, take some of this out of the way so I can unplug these for now I'll plug them all back in in a second I'm just going to pull it out a little bit put a bit of glue underneath both ends here and push it back into place with just a double glue under both ends and I think my hot glue gun could be a little bit hot so I might just unplug it and let it cool down a bit and just push that servo down so it sits down flush. Then once we've got them all glued in, all of the servos glued in place, and uh, so that we've still got a fairly level um, joint between the aileron and the, the wing, and the same for the other control surfaces, we've just got these little screws. Um, depends on the servo that you buy, but some little screws that screw down through the control arm, and uh, that holds the uh, servo into place, or the control arm into place. So it's not gonna pop off while you're uh, flying along. We'll just screw that down. Alright, so we've um, got all the servos glued on now. We've got some little screws in there and all of our control servers are sort of uh, fairly, fairly neutral when um, when we turn the plane on, turn the receiver on, I'm just going to stick my receiver up to the side of the plane like that. I'm just trying to needle up the cords and we can put some little cable ties or something down there. But for now, I'm just going to stick it up, up like that so I can still access all the ports. And I think I might just do that with a bit of hot glue. Uh, and the rest of... So I've hot glued everything. I'm going to use some Velcro for the battery. Uh, so just put a bit of... Hot glue down along there. I'm going to use a bit of Velcro for the battery um, because the battery we're going to use a bit of a counterweight and think about getting it balanced out so that the centre of gravity is in the front third of our wings. And um, we've set up a little jig for that, but at the moment we're just going to put the 
the motor on. So I've got the propeller, just had a look at how that works. And we've got the prop saver, the blue prop saver with the two grub screws coming out the side. And can we focus on that? Yep. And uh, we've got a rubber band over between them. And the idea is that if we crash the plane with the, while the prop's down like that, that it uh, just rolls off and folds in and then can fold back out. So that saves us breaking a shaft every time we come and down and hit the ground um, with the nose of the plane. Last time I put one of these planes together, I put some little rubber bands. So I've got some bamboo, bamboo skewers here, and I've, uh, I have used some rubber bands just looping them over from front to back on those bamboo skewers. Now, I don't have any rubber bands with me, and I guess the other alternative is that we could use some maybe three mil threaded uh, screws and nuts to be able to attach it and fix it on. But I think the way that we've thought about doing it today is we're just going to put a bit of glue on the back of these and see how we go with just some hot glue because then at least if it does hit hard enough, the glue can snap off rather than bending the shaft or snapping the motor. So we think the glue is going to be strong enough to hold it on but weak enough that it will snap off if uh, we come down in a bit of a bad crash. So grab our glue gun again. And I've just hot glued the back of these skewers so that they're not going to move back and forth. So if it, if it does come down and crash, the glue just snaps off and this motor mount will be able to sort of come apart from the motor. And the reality is, is that we are going to crash it. So we do need to think about how we can minimise the damage when we do crash it. A bit of glue behind each of these joints. Try and work fairly quickly to push them all in. And I want to get that nice and flush up against the motor mount. Which I reckon I've done a decent job of there. So hopefully and we'll be able to find out out in the field um, and we'll report back if the glue doesn't work but uh, yeah we thought we'd give something different a, a bit of a try and hopefully we've got a bit of success so we're still just going to glue down this um, electronic speed controller as well and I've just got the connector from the speed controller I just drilled a bit of a wide hole here making sure you're not going to hit the carbon rod that's going through and just duck that down through the Depron so it's sticking out the bottom and I think I'm just going to glue that into place so that I can put the battery uh, across here and connect it straight in without having to have it dangling all the time so just going to put the electronic speed controller down down here and put a bit of glue on our uh, 